Hi, my name is Steve Thompson. I'm an artist for the Walt Disney Company. But one of my favorite characters to draw is Jasmine from Aladdin, and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. I generally like to start all my drawings with a really rough sketch. This is really just going to be starting with a circle. It doesn't need to be a perfect circle in one line. It's kind of sketchy as you go. She is turned slightly to one side, so I'm gonna use this center line as a guide for me for where the center of her face is. For Jasmine, her eyes sit a little bit lower, so I'm actually gonna use the bottom of the circle as her eye line. Now, since her head is turned slightly away, the eye on this side of the line, the smaller portion of the circle, is gonna be a little bit smaller. So it's not that her eye's smaller, it's just appearing smaller. I'm gonna go in and add her other eye. She has these nice, large, almond-shaped eyes. Once the eyes are in there, I'm gonna want to drop in her eyebrows. She's got these fairly thick eyebrows. One of her traits that I think is iconic of definitely being hers. If I keep following the center line down, I'm gonna pretty much have a good idea of where the nose and mouth are. So I'm just gonna drop in the simple shape for her nostril and the tip of her nose and a little bit of the bridge. I'm gonna wanna put a little bit of a smile on her. She's got, she's got a nice um, bow for her top lip and her bottom lip is quite a bit fuller. And that's gonna draw your attention right about to where her chin would be. From there we can add that sort of U or V shape to start describing her cheek. She's got a nice full cheek, tapers in nicely to this um, chin. Come back over to the other side. This is gonna be a little bit more straight because actually her cheek is in here. This is the curved part that you're seeing here, but this is her jawline. So this is gonna be a little more straight, this side more curved. From here, since I'm already in this area, I like to drop in her earrings. That it's like almost like as soon as you put them on, you really recognize the character, and Jasmine's earrings are definitely part of her costume that I think immediately starts to read as Jasmine. This is gonna lead us right into her hair. I'm already kind of in this area of the face, so I'm working my way back up. And if you didn't recognize her by her jewelry, I think you'll certainly notice her by her hair. She's got this really fun hair shape. It's almost like a triangle shape, and then a smaller bun, and then a and then a, a long, longer tail. So I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of this, this portion in, since her hair is definitely much longer than this paper is. So here's sort of this triangle shape. Got this hair tied back. So along the center line, she's got a jewel on top of her head, and you can see that I've used that center line to sort of show the perspective of how that actually sits on top of her head. So the line isn't there just for no good reason. It's, it's beneficial the entire time I'm drawing. And then Jasmine has a bit of a a little bit of an angle on the back of her head. It's not perfectly round, but I'm using that circle as a guide. So I'm imagining this hair is on top of it. It's a little bit thicker than, than this circle, which is just describing, for me, where her head shape is. So I can bring in that subtle angle 
right back down into this hair. So I'm gonna go back into those eyes, start adding the iris. Come back over to this side, you're gonna see even less of that circle because of the eye shape. But it, but you want it to kind of sit at this like same height and be about this, imagine it's about the same size if I continued this circle around. That way we get her looking in the right direction. Can throw in a quick highlight. And then the pupil is gonna sit within this iris another circle within a circle. So you can see even something that starts off seeming a little complex or complicated really just starts with a couple basic shapes. It's how you put the shapes together. So I'm gonna come down to her shoulders. She's got sort of narrow shoulders, definitely much more narrow than her hair. Here another, the, one of those iconic pieces of jewelry is her necklace. And then her little peek at some of her outfit. Shoulder sleeves. So this is pretty much my take at my first pass at Jasmine, I am going to use, for myself, a fresh sheet of paper. So with this paper, I'm able to kind of see through where I was. I, I don't wanna lose sight of where this eye line is or the center line. And this is where you can start changing and refining things. Compared to my rough drawing, I'm gonna bring this eye shape down just a little bit. It is smaller, but I just want to make it a little taller so it matches the same distance here. So that's an adjustment. And it's in this stage where I feel like I can look at the character and really keep the things I want, make little changes. Do I want the smile up a little bit more? Which I think I do. This eye I seemed pretty okay with. It was a matter of getting this one to match a little bit better. But I know I wanted to go a little bit thicker with these brows, so I'm even kind of changing it as I go. You know, when I first started working at Disney, I thought maybe everybody just did these perfect drawings right out of the gate, and I found it found it a little intimidating and didn't quite know where to start. But once I realized that everyone kind of goes through different stages and has their own process, it really kind of opened me up to just not being afraid to get started. Because that blank paper, looking back at you, can sometimes be intimidating. So the drawing isn't totally clean. It's not completely rough, but it has that really cool sketch quality that I think just keeps life in these drawings. The little tweaks and changes that I wanted to make in the face really helped. I'm making the earrings a little larger. But I think everything else is almost where I wanted it. For me, I always feel like the second pass goes a little more quickly than the first. The first stage seems like, to me, you're getting the simple shapes down, but I feel like you're also sort of troubleshooting. I feel like if I notice something isn't looking quite right, when I get to this stage, I know exactly what it is that I want to change. So I think we got her. This is pretty much Jasmine. But I usually like to take it one step further and add graphite to this. So 
So I'm gonna take this eraser, and this is sort of an erasable pencil that I'm working with. You don't have to use red and you don't have to erase. It's just my process. And even in this stage, you can start to refine your own drawing. Maybe you erased away a little line that you didn't like or didn't, didn't want there. I always like the eyes. The eyes are my favorite part of any character because it's the first thing we relate to. I feel like as soon as I got the eyes looking the way I want them to, the rest of the drawing is gonna go fine. Even though this drawing started with a simple circle, these characters can still be challenging to draw. I know I still feel challenged by them and I've been working on them a long time, so I always practice drawing as much as I can. The fun thing about that is seeing how much you improve and how quickly you can improve. Because the approach to the character doesn't change. But each time you draw the character, you might instinctively sort of notice, oh, I should have done this differently, or the next time I draw, I'm gonna have her look a slightly different way, and none of them are mistakes. I always say it's, you're not making mistakes in drawings, you're just giving yourself learning opportunities. And every time I'm working on a new character, I go through a similar learning process. I have to find those simple shapes, break it down, and then start to learn this character. It's almost like you're, you're meeting them and becoming familiar with them. And the more familiar you are, the easier it is to sort of help them show up here on the paper. Another way you might make this drawing your own is to add color. You might have some markers or crayons or colored pencils, and you might want to experiment with them too. Find a technique that you like that's like sort of your signature look for, for drawing. And it looks like we're almost finished with her. Just adding a little bit of shadowing. And that's Jasmine. I really hope you enjoyed watching along as I drew Jasmine for you today. I know I really enjoyed it and hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.